Media reports indicate that the Cabinet Committee on Security is expected to approve the AMCA program later this year, and Halen D. Audio have engaged in multiple discussions with potential private sector partners, but there are concerns about the profitability of the special purpose vehicle model. The talks have now shifted towards the promised order book, which currently stands at 40 AMCA Mark I and 100 AMCA Mark II fighter jets. The timeline for the AMCA Mark II variant is dependent on the completion of the new 120 kN engine deal which is yet to be finalized. If there are delays in the Mark II program, the order size for the Mark I variant might increase to 60 more units. To ensure the financial stability of special purpose vehicle, repayment of debts and investments, and long-term sustainability of the program. At a time when the Rafael F4 standard is seen as the top contender in the 114 MRFA program, French Defence Ministry officials have said that the French Air Force had no need for a dedicated version of the Rafale for electronic warfare and suppression of enemy air defences, as the forthcoming F4.2 and F5 variants of the Rafale aircraft are set to prioritise seed capabilities that will enhance the ability to neutralise enemy air defence systems effectively and create favourable conditions for strike missions against heavily defended targets. As the older batch of Su-30 aircraft requires engine replacements, Hindustan Aeronautics seems to conclude the contract negotiations for the supply of 240 AL-31 engines for the Su-30 aircraft, and both parties have made significant progress in the contract negotiations, and the contract can be successfully concluded within the next six months. HALS Kharaput Division is involved in the production of AL-31 engines, and it also handles the overhauling repair and rectification of engine damages. Hindustan Aeronautics has launched the metal cutting for series production of HTT-40 basic trainer aircraft at its NASIC division. HAL will deliver the first two aircraft from fourth quarter of 2024, and ramp it up to eight trainers for 2025, and the production rate will reach its peak in 2026 with 21 trainers annually, and all 70 HTT-40 trainers will be delivered to the Indian Air Force over a period of six years. Hindustan Aeronautics have confirmed that it will hand over at least eight pages trainer aircraft to the Indian Air Force within the current fiscal year. HAL has received orders for 18 pages trainers from the Indian Air Force, and currently, 10 trainers are in various stages of development. HAL aims to deliver a minimum of six stages trainers by the end of this year, and an additional two trainers by March 2024, and complete the delivery of all 18 trainers by March 2025. Under the initiative on critical and emerging technologies announced earlier this year, India and the US are discussing possibilities of co-producing jet engines, M777 extended range version, and future infantry fighting vehicles. The meeting also discussed promoting co-development and co-production in India, including potential areas and projects where Indian and US defense companies could work together. After the head of the RDO's research and development establishment was arrested for leaking sensitive information to the enemy, the DRDO has issued a strong advisory to its personnel, asking them not to take calls from unknown numbers or foreign numbers, and to avoid social media platforms. The DRDO have also been issuing advisories and holding lectures by experts on maintaining cyber discipline.